Steve Davis and Terry, pardon me, and Dave Parrott. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Terry O'Connor. And now, 700 years ago, William Braveheart Wallace was the hero at Sterling Bridge. 300 years ago, Rock Roy McGregor was the hero at Glen Shield. And 40 years ago here in Glasgow, two great warriors, two of the greatest lightweight champions of all time, Ken Buchanan and gentleman Jim Watt, fought their hearts out. Now, history repeats itself as the legacy of battle in Scotland continues. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, official weight, 135 pounds. An outstanding professional record consisting of 34 fights. 33 victories, including 24 knockouts, with 17 KOs coming in four rounds or less, and only one defeat. He's the former British champion and former WBO, Inter Intercontinental Super Featherweight and Lightweight Champion, the WBO number one ranked challenger in the world, the Dragon and Destroyer, Kevin Mighty. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with black, officially weighing also 135 pounds. His professional record, also outstanding. 35 fights, 33 victories, including nine knockouts, with only two defeats. He's a two-time world champion, presenting the fighting pride of Glasgow, Scotland, the reigning, defending. WBO lightweight champion of the world, the Richter, Ricky So all the talking is over, now we find out who really is the better man. We've all heard the stories about how Burns supposedly got the better of Mitchell in sparring those years ago, now it's for real and up there who wouldn't be nervous in, sort of this, in front of this sort of atmosphere Ricky Burns, I thought of the two, maybe looked the more nervous. Yeah, I agree, John. I, the first thing I notice about Ricky, A, he's in very good shape, but B, he looks nervous. Well, kind of the perceived wisdom is that this was going to be boxer, slickster against puncher. But Kevin Mitchell is more than that. Against Breedis Prescott, as Steve Bunce was telling you, he showed that he can box for 12 rounds at range, box to a plan, get in and out, score as it needs. We'll see if he can deliver that sort of style tonight. Maybe those who suggest that he's just going to go in there as the banger are not seeing the whole picture, I wonder. No. Kevin Mitchell showed that night against Breedis Prescott how, how well he can box on the back foot and how much of a boxing brain he's got. For me, Kevin's always comfortable when shots are coming at him. Ricky Baines is, is a very, very good technical boxer. He keeps it upright, he's very good jab, good hand speed as well. That's what makes the fight, that's the beauty of this fight. Hard to get to, Burns, as well. There have been whispers that uh, his sparring has gone well with Bradley Saunders. Whispers as well, though, that there are shots which he can be vulnerable to, and I'm sure that Jimmy Tibbs and Mark Tibbs have worked long and hard with Kevin Mitchell. They'll have heard those whispers. 
They'll have worked out a plan, absolutely sure of it. And Mitchell's starting well, that's a nice body shot. Could be a really tight fight, this one. And I think it's going to be hard to score for me and you, John. I think it's going to be really difficult to separate them for the bulk of the fight. That's your job. <laughs> They're both saying themselves, every time they've been asked, 12 round war, 12 round war, both of them. Well, you heard Angus Walker earlier on talking about the betting patterns for this fight. Ricky Burns is the gambling favourite, and the bet, I think, where the money's gone is Burns on points, which is round about 5-4 to four on, best price, perhaps just approaching even money. That seems to be where the money has gone, although there are plenty who think Mitchell can get a stoppage. Yeah, Mitchell's jab is lovely in this round, he's, he's coming out the better in the exchange with the jab, and that was a good right hand that comes straight off it as well. You'd expect Baines to be beating the battle, winning the battle of the jabs. Oh, look at this, going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the opening round. Two of them landing heavy shots. Burns came back with a really good right hand of his own, having been tagged pretty solidly by Mitchell. A red-blooded start to this fight. Been one of the most talked about fights for a long time. And Burns looking to get Mitchell's respect in this opening round. He's trying to hit, show his strength, his power. Whether it's a smart tactic remains to be seen. Mitchell waves to his fans. Burns back to his corner. Difficult one to score. Get off the fence. <laughs> So hard to split them, but for me, the, the, the battle of the jabs won it for me. I hope this is it. Yeah, this is the same one. You know, Ben lands right with a jab, Mitchell lands with one, and then Mitchell comes back with a nice right hand after this. It's the only really main talent shot in the round for me, so that added to the jabs and the clever boxing of, of Kevin Mitchell. I'm going to give it to Mitchell, and if I can't give a split. If that's a taste of what we can expect for the next 12 rounds, it could turn out to be very, very tasty indeed. Ready on the jab, okay? If he moves into the right hand, right hand, left hook, right hand, okay? That's very good, it's a good start, okay? Billy Nelson, okay. trainer of Ricky Burns. He's happy with the start. And the crowd right behind Ricky Burns. Kevin Mitchell's got his supporters here as well. This is reminiscent, as Michael Buffer told you, of those glory nights of Jim Watts at the Kelvin Hall. Yeah. There's nothing that either corner could be unhappy with in that round. They've both done the right thing. They're both boxing well, and it was a tough round to split them. Sharp right hand from Mitchell. Burns count. That's a nice right hand from Mitchell. Uh, from Burns, rather. Burns in the black and white shorts. Everybody talks of Burns as fitness. Gone 12 rounds. Mitchell's had times when his life seemed to be spiralling out of control. So speaking to Mark Tibbs yesterday, works of course with his dad Jimmy and he says that he is in terrific shape. And that's a good attack from Burns. Good stuff from Burns, You're having the last day in the exchange as well. Pushing Mitchell back with some good shots. Very, very different sort of set of problems Mitchell's having to confront from those presented by John Murray in that much talked about fight, which was certainly one of the fights of the year last year. Burns physically strong and trying to make that count. Going to work on Mitchell on that far side of the ring. Mitchell fans responding to that left hand from Mitchell, but it was partially blocked by Burns, who looks physically so strong. Yeah, he looks in great shape. I've said all week, people asking me opinion on the fight, and I've said it all depends on if Kevin is in shape. Kevin Mitchell is in great shape tonight. He looks, he looks a million dollars. Same with Ricky Baines, so you know, taking nothing away from Ricky Baines, he's in fantastic shape. People poo pooed Billy Nelson a year or two ago when he said that Ricky Burns could one day be ranked alongside the Scottish greats. If he comes through this emphatically. Oh, great right, right shot right from Burns, really good right hand. 
absolutely stopped Mitchell in his tracks. Lovely right down from Baines, nice sharp right down, right down the pipe. Well, that's got Mitchell up onto his bike now. He's certainly got new respect for Ricky Burns now. The right hand of Ricky Burns has been the danger shot, and that was the best punch of the fight so far. The crowd shouting and chanting the two touch gloves. Good round for Burns. Yeah, Burns round. Thankfully, a little bit easier for us to score from a selfish point of view. It's a good round. Good clean right hand to Mick. There it is again on the chin. I think Mitchell was laying back as it landed. Probably made it look a little bit worse, but it was a lovely shot right on the button. Well, he took it well. Yeah, that's the sharpness Burns has got with the long, long range counter as well. Kevin Mitchell will probably think he's a bit safe out of there. Can you see it? Hey, good. Let's do it, son. Don't fall over me. Hey, I don't want my shorts on the thing. Okay, okay. Well, if he was nervous right, beforehand, he's settled good. down now. Okay, I want a bit there now. Okay, don't give this guy any confidence in the set now. Okay. They like that. They like that second round as well. They might. Good round for Burns, and if Mitchell did perhaps edge the opener, that has certainly squared it right up. You can hear the game plan from Burns and uh, uh, Billy, Billy Nelson talking in the corner there, you know, my shots are already landed in the second round, I think they were expecting to get this late, maybe take the sting out of Kevin Mitchell and then land the shot late. Ben. And the two of them standing and trading. Ben's and Mitchell calling. wanting to show that he's the yeah. macho man. Ben's calling Mitchell on and Mitchell happily obliging. You know, launching forward with a nice big left through. Ben standing his ground and holding his own. Threw it up nicely, John. Ricky Burns, for a lightweight, just looks such a big... Massive. Absolutely massive. That's the right hand again. They have worked on that, they've got to have thought that is a weakness of Kevin Mitchell because the right hand has been a telling shot for Ricky Burns in this fight. Both of these fighters are, seem to be open and a bit susceptible to the other fighter's big punch. Ricky Burns has been getting caught with nice left hooks from Kevin Mitchell and Kevin Mitchell's took about four big stiff right hands now from Ricky Burns. And of course the work of Burns emphasised by the crowd's reaction. Yeah, Mitchell grunting with the effort as he delivered that punch. That's a good right hand. Solid shot from Burns. Mitchell really has to cover up. Come on, bring it on, he says. This is what we want to see, isn't it, John? This is what we're here for. Mitchell off the ropes after taking a right hand to the temple. Draws Ricky Burns on and asks him for more. Burns will want to stay cute, though. It's not in his interest to go into a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. No, and Ricky Burns is doing the right thing. Kevin Mitchell's got to be careful that he doesn't just keep going for that one single left hook on its own because he'll become predictable. Burns will cover up with the right hand and come back with a counter. Right hand again, this time only a glancing blow. That's better. Again, though, John, the same could be said for Ricky Burns. He's got to not go right hand happy because Kevin will just took up with the left hand to come back with his own left hook as well as a counter. He both got to be careful that he don't get one trick pony and keep trying the best shot. We'll have another look at that at the end of the round. What you're talking about that, Paul, and also hopefully hear from the, the Tibbs father and son combination in Kevin Mitchell's corner because this is so shaping up to be another Ricky Burns round. Yeah. Dominated this one. Forcing the pace, forcing the tactics. Mitchell has not landed much clean in this third round. Well, good fight, Paul. And here's some of the action that you see there on the front foot. Burns 